Esther Lim will speak to us about the application of the Esther philosophy outside of Sweden in Singapore, where Esthers are recognized as the driving force for systems change. We hear how Esthers from a wide variety of different ethnic groups in Singapore raise suggestions about how the philosophy should be applied and how it should be further spread so more people can benefit from it. So these are our esters. So you, as you can see, um, you know we really see them as the unifying force of the um, the whole um, innovation, because everybody is busy and we are you know uh, we, we need to get our job going. But whenever the esters step forward to share a story, there's no reason not to work together, um, and we call that the most powerful um, element of the whole ester network. It is the voice of the ester and how it is like the central pillar force that pulls everything together. So you can see that our esters, you know, uh, varies in ages. We have got esters in their 80s, uh, in their 40s, and then uh, we have got uh, esters who are uh, of a different racial group. In Singapore, we have Chinese, Malay, uh, Indian, Eurasians, and um, uh, Malay. So you can see that they're all represented here, uh, and these are their voices. Okay, next. Okay, one more. Yeah, so during the COVID, we thought, you know, we were stunned for like two months. We didn't know what to do because we are so used to face-to-face -to -face gathering. But when we recovered and turned around, we realized that we had more meetings with Esther's over Zoom because there was less accessibility issues. Yeah, and in fact, most of them were able to Zoom in, you know, with some help. You know, we sent one or two coaches to their home to help them set up. And in fact, we had more meetings uh, during the COVID period. And uh, through these retreats, you know, we really want to um, know what they think about participation. Remember yesterday's sharing, um, you know, we don't just invite people to co-produce. We also want to know what do you think about participation? How would you like to participate? So, you know, so Esther's contributed to how they like to be involved. So they shared that, hey, we don't like to always attend meetings. You know, I would like to, uh, my interest is in caregivers. Can I do something, you know, for the caregivers? Um, and what do ambassadors want to see in the network? This is co-produced outcomes. What kind of outcomes would you also like to see um, in the network? And uh, how you feel we can enhance our publicity? So one of the things that Esther raised was that, hey, you know, this is really wonderful work, but um, we need to raise the publicity so that more people can benefit from what we're doing. So these were all the contributions of Esther, and they actually steer the way for us. So we have an Esther library, we adopted the same idea, you know, it's like when you go to a library, there are different interest areas. So similarly, you know, Esther's with different interests uh, will, will be in the library and if uh, there is a project that involves caregiver, we know which Esther to, um, to invite. Uh, and if the Esther is very good in corporate work, likes to do pamphlets, um, etc., then we also know which Esther to invite. And they can contribute to work that is already in the green field, that is done halfway, uh, sorry, brown field, or to a work that is totally new, that is a, a new service or a new area called the green field. Okay, last but not least, moving forward. So um, today, you know, we are not staying uh, stationary. Um, there is actually a greater need to promote this person-centered care. Uh, with the external changes in Singapore, and it's really more and more important to focus on preventive care, uh, to prevent the lifestyle, like somebody mentioned about lifestyle illnesses, I think it was Malik, and it's really true, it's happening for Singapore, our diabetes has gone up, um, and uh, it's important to, to, to actually live healthier. So healthier Singapore has become our motto in the last uh, one to two years, so, you know, we also want to um, move in tandem and develop a centre of person-centred care. So, Esther will be the key philosophy.